Hi, I'm Ricky. And I'm Vicky. Welcome to Divorce Yay! Yay! Today we are talking about breakup haircuts. In the five stages of grief, I think this would fall into the depression stage. I feel like it could be in the anger stage. Everybody, Britney Spears, angry. So the depression stage is when you are typically doing things that you wouldn't normally be doing and like reacting in ways that you normally wouldn't. So you might think cutting your hair is going to give you a fresh new start. Um, you might say, I want to shed some weight. Um, new hair, new me, new man. Those are some of the simple and easy ways to think about it. Ricky just said something about cutting off dead weight and not banging your hair, but hopefully we're cutting off the dead weight by getting rid of him. So another option to break up haircuts, instead of cutting it, dyeing it, doing all these things, maybe we could make it longer. We're going to tell you more about that in a second, but first we're going to talk about celebrities that have done this crazy cutting of the hair when maybe they should have rethought and um, did this instead. So we all know that Katy Perry, when she broke with Orlando Bloom, she chopped her hair. She got a lot of slack for that. Um, Riri cut her hair after the Chris Brown stuff happened. Um, Scarlett Johansson famously chopped her hair. And there's just tons. You can go on to celebrity breakups and you can find any celebrity, basically any woman, has cut bangs, cut her hair, or bleached it. And if you don't want to go look up this stuff for yourself, I think I might actually do it on my own and edit that right in this video so you can watch it here. Crazy Trick of Haircuts! Woo! So a fun way to change your hair without really drastically changing your hair because there's so much things changing in your life right now that's don't do any huge commitments is a non-committal, committal, commitmental, halo extensions, which is what I'm wearing and which is what Ricky is not wearing. The halo extensions are super awesome. They come already ready to go like this. Vicky and I tried every hair extension product there is. We did clip-ins which pull up the hair around here. We did the bondage ones which they tape onto all your individual hairs and it looks like you kind of have like locks. We've done, I've, I've even done wigs. A lot of the damage that you get from extensions is from getting the permanent ones in that you have to sleep in, shower in, all that fun stuff. These ones conveniently in and out in a matter of seconds. Don't believe us, we're going to show you right now. We've researched Halo Top Extensions because, I mean, it seems kind of crazy, right? This little string thing is hanging on, holding it onto your head. But it's not doing any damage because it's just a little string thing holding onto your head. Absorb string thing. You can't even see it. Where is it? Uh, <laughs> I'm wearing it. String thing. It's like this. It's basically fishing wire, but it's got a little stretch to it. Also, if you want like added security, there's little clips in here. I've never used them and I've never had an issue. Conveniently located right here is a mirror and Ricky's gonna show you how easy it is to put these things in. I'm already wearing mine. I will finish this by showing you how easy it is to take it out and the difference that it makes having it in. But take it away, Rick. Okay, so Vicky actually showed me how to do this and I wish I had a little video because I was doing it wrong for at least a week until I saw her. But basically, you're gonna take, what is it like a, a half inch or an inch, inch and a half. Step one, one, one and a half inches from your crown and just take your fingers all the way around this little part, put it in a ponytail. She's so much faster than I am. Like 
window. Step two, take the little band thingy, put it on that part that you just made, and then push the other part down underneath like the base of your head, and then voila, somehow, as if magic, it I just stays in place. I like to feel it. My, there's clips here, so you can clip it, but like we said, we don't do that. And step three, take down that pony, and you're done. Ooh. I have the 16 to read, and the the 18 inch, but I actually took a row out because it was so thick. So if you need the care, you're all good. So, Alexa Chung says, don't have a fringe cut. Don't bleach it. Don't do anything because you will regret it. Buy a lipstick instead. Go and kiss loads of other people, but don't fucking touch your hair. As you'll still feel sad, you'll just have weird hair. New hair, new man, new you doesn't have to be short and permanent. New you can be temporary and new you can be here for long. Thanks for joining us on this little tidbit from DeForest. Yay! Um, just trying to give you guys little words of wisdom and empower you in any ways that we feel like we could have used back when we were going through it. And hair has definitely made us feel a lot more confident, a lot more ready to get out there and try new things and just feel better. And finally, to show you how drastic a change it is, I'm going to remove mine before your very eyes. And I'm not sure if I want to do it from the front or the back. What do you think? You do yours from the front on my back. Okay, so it's easy as this. Ready? There's what it looked like before. But he's back. Do, do, do my front. I'm just gonna take this little string thing, pull it off my little head. He's out. This is my natural hair. Ricky's natural hair. Short and sweet, but sometimes long and fine is a little better. Hope you guys had fun with this new shirt. Bye.